Brian Walsh, a true giant in the Australian TV industry, has passed away. We just got confirmation of that, uh, and I want to bring in our entertainment reporter, Sam Fox. And Sam, uh, we we all know Walshy. Yeah, we uh, Walshy, do. Uh, Laura too. Uh, we all know him really well, and he's uh, played such a, a big part in the entertainment landscape in Australia. It's really sad news. It is really sad. And often we don't see the faces behind the production and yeah. what's going on. And, and he was such a supportive figure of, of Foxtel and also Australian drama. That's really what he lived for. And that was his passion. And as you refer to him as Walshy, that's what we called him here. And he was always up for an interview. He was always up to support Australian actors and, and productions. I mean, a place to call home, uh, Wentworth. The 12, Colin from Accounts, Love Me. He was the driving force between a lot of these productions that we sit back on the couch and, and watch. And a, a true uh, industry icon, uh, Brian Walsh. He's done a lot to support the media and Australian production over the past few years. It's come as a shock to many of us this morning, uh, finding out these news. He died in Sydney yesterday. Um, but throughout Foxtel's 28-year history, he was one of the most admired creative leaders. Now, Foxtel Group CEO Patrick Delaney has released a statement the saying, saying, this is a very difficult day for the Foxtel Group family, for Australia's creative community and the millions of Australians who watched and loved the stories that Brian brought to life through television. Australia's creative community has lost a mm. much loved figure in Brian. For all of us, the loss is heavily felt. Yeah, he's so, he was such a sweet man, Brian uh, Walshy. Yeah, wasn't he? He was yeah. always very positive. Well, I remember we did that uh, appeal uh, at, at Stadium Australia. Yeah, uh, bushfire. Yeah, was it? I, uh, it was two years ago. <laughs> yeah, now. It, was. Anyway, it was a long time ago, and, uh, and we, we got a call from Walshy out the back. He says, "That's the best. That's the best bit of live TV I've seen since the Sydney Olympic." <laughs> he might have been overselling it a little bit. We were like, "Thanks, Walshy." He was great. Uh, yeah. He was so old school mm. in his um, politeness yeah. and his encouragement. He was formidable, but just so lovely. Um, one thing that really I will remember about Walshy is that when he spoke to you, he really listened to you. Yes. Um, he didn't look through you. You know, you meet a lot of people in this industry. They talk to you. They're looking at, uh, over your shoulder to see who else they can mm. speak to that means maybe a bit more important or more interesting. He didn't do that. When you had his time, you had his attention. And I'll never forget that about him. His instincts were... Just incredible. Yeah. Like, look at the pro pr production. And I didn't even know who was behind uh, Tina Turner. What was it? Um, uh, there's a... Uh, I yeah. what it was, but anyway. Well, then, no, I didn't, it, no, just, a, you know, his list, his CV is just incredible. The best so. season launch yeah. for the National the, Rugby League, which featured, featured Tina, Tina Turner. Turner. Remember, You're right. remember that. No, I, that I, made I, Tina Turner's career. Well, he, I mean, he goes so far back, I mean, to Neighbours. Launched the careers of yeah. Kylie, Jason, Guy Pearce. I mean... You know, they did all right. I yeah. had him on the yeah. desk here a few years ago. I did an interview with him uh, featuring what was coming up on Foxtel and he was so impressed the way that we even worked in this little studio. So he, exactly what you said, Laura, he really did take it all in. It wasn't someone who sort of just overlooked yeah. you, which was, which was really assuming. refreshing. Just a really lovely man, yeah. uh, really yeah, positive really and uh, obviously was good at what he did uh, and, uh, and he really enjoyed the work here and we enjoyed working with, with him and uh, Valet. Brian Walsh. Wish Walshy. I had some happier news for you on this Friday. Yeah, yeah it's hit us all yes, pretty already, hard. Mate. That's really sad news.